burning, you know, we use the word burning, but it wasn't like, you know, how they use things to embarrass people. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really that. It was just who could dance better. If was I dance better than you, then I burned you. Oh, wow. You know, so it was, it was all about what you did, the steps, your moves. Was it more like stylish? It was very stylish. Oh, Extraordinarily wow. stylish. Mm. You know what I compare rock to right now, the, the dance that's closest to rock? Mm. It's house. House is dancing. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Because we had the footwork, mm -hmm. and also, I mean, house use, uses the whole body. Um, and they, like we did, we played all the instruments on our body. That's how we felt. Mm. And yes. that's how we did it, you know? Musicality. So the guitar will take you somewhere. Of course, the drums, you did it with your feet. Mm. So even our heads were involved, our shoulders shook. I mean, it was just, it was a complete dance. It wasn't just one thing, it was a complete dance. And, and, and we, you know, we would practice to develop new steps. Mm. You know, we came in every week with a new step. Mm, wow, amazing. And, 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 that, and that's how you were considered you know, the best, mm -hmm. you know, can't, how many steps you had, mm -hmm. you know, what, 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 what would you bring in that was new? Mm -hmm. My partner, Enoch Torres, who was probably the best rock dancer I ever saw, bar none, Not, no one even came close. Mm -hmm. and even the guys we learned from, Mike, Danny, he surpassed all of them. Mm -hmm. And he just used to just come up with these steps all the time. He created styles. That's how good he was. Oh, Not just yeah. step styles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 There was one time we was at this club and we were all dancing and we hadn't seen him for two days. And he pops up mm -hmm. and he starts dancing in a way we never saw before. He came in with everything new. We were like, even me, who I used to dance with him and I was, you know, I was his, I mean, we, was, we never competed, but I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to sit down. I mean, the whole club sat down and just watched him dance. Mm. That's how incredible he was and, and how, um, how creative and innovative he was. He would bring in and he would dance a whole song, two songs, three. We would get like 10 to 15 songs in a row mm. um, to dance to in a wow. club. Yeah, wow. yeah. Once it came on, it came on for a while. You know, <laughs> by the time it was done, you're all sweaty, you know. Then they changed the music, you know, whether it was hustle or, you know, there was different, um, you know, like um, factions to rock. Mm -hmm. You know, there was the rock to just be gun, okay. give it up and turn it loose. Mm -hmm. It's a new day, you know, that hard rock, you know, that yeah. you got down. Mm -hmm. But then when they came on with softer songs like um, La La Peace Song, um, It's a Shame by the Spinners, yeah. you know, um, uh, the Four Tops had uh, Don't Bring Back the Memories, you know, uh, Music is the Message. You still danced, mm -hmm. and you danced what we would call rock, but a softer rock, which, you know, as time went on, you know, as I came back, I realized that I think we were doing, you know, a portion of house. Mm -hmm. Like when we were doing soft rock, it was sort of like a house dancing because mm -hmm. we still used the footsteps, we still, you know, went with the music, so it, 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 it was a semblance of, of house, a very, you know, young form, I mean, because it's incredible, house, house dancing is just, yeah. I mean, I love it, I mean, I like watching it, yeah, yeah. I can't do it, <laughs> you know, yeah, you, you already doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I want to ask you, like, um, the, the clothing, how you guys used to dress, because, uh, uh, you know, I think everybody in hip-hop and you know, the new rockers want to learn, you know, because it's a, you know, we all have this style that we got to, you know, learn. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. No, it, it, it changes just like the music changes, just like the dance steps changes, you know, the style mm -hmm. of the clothing changes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me see. When I first went out, um, when I went to the Fresh and the Contiki, um, what I saw were people, there was shoes called marshmallows. I'm sure you heard of the marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. So they wore that. Um, and what they also wore with it, well, Contiki was a little different. Contiki was a little bit of an older crowd. So they wore um, secondhand suits. Oh. They wore three-piece suits. And oh, they yeah. had, you know, you know how you put the watch in the vest. And, oh, wow. Like that old mafia stuff. Oh, nice. That's, that's what they nice. wore with Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks were these big oh, hats, right? Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's when I first, that's the first thing I saw. The and suits. they used to rock. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's, 
That's what they wore in the con ticket. And I remember I went to a thrift store. I mean, I drove my mom crazy looking for thrift stores so I can get what they were, you know, what they were wearing. Because I was very young. I, you know, I had the fake ID. I was like 13. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like 13. And then, you know, these guys were 15, 16. They were much older than I was. Um, so, so after that, in the fresh, though, they were a little looser. So they wore khakis with... Um, with marshmallows mm -hmm. and just like a turtleneck with a vest. Uh, was it bell bottoms? No, at that time it wasn't bell oh, bottoms. Okay. They were straight. They were straight leg mm -hmm. at that time. So that was then. Um, and then moved on. I, I, I used the clubs as mm -hmm. as my sort of like my barometers. Um, and I think from the fresh, you know, I remember coming back to the Bronx. And, and we wore those clothes in the Bronx. We brought the style with us back to the Bronx. It was a 310, and me and my friends, you know, we were downtown. So, um, you know, of course, we brought the style back with us. And I think that's what usually happened. People went to Manhattan, picked up the dance, picked up the style of dress, and then went to their boroughs mm -hmm. to hang for a little while. Mm -hmm. So and that's what we did. I think we spent, like, maybe a couple of months hanging out in the 310. Um, there was another club called the Blinkers, even before the 310 for me. So that's the way we dressed. And then we went back downtown. After you, you had your fill, um, we became sort of like the better dancers in the Bronx. Okay. You know, we said, okay, now we're ready. You know, mm -hmm. let's take it downtown. Mm -hmm. um, so then, then when I went downtown, this, it was the footsteps. Mm -hmm. And in the footsteps, um, God, that was, that was, that was uh, probably the number one dancing club that I remember. I mean, that's where they had contests Fridays and Saturdays. Oh, and they were $50. Oh, yeah, God, the that prize time, was a $50. That was, a lot of money. That, was, that was huge. You know, yeah, but more yeah. than anything else, if you won, it was, it was about the prestige. You of know, course, if, yeah. if, if you won, you know, you got respect. You know, a lot, a lot of other stuff comes with respect. Did they let you in the for girls. free or something? Mm -hmm. in the um, you know what? I, I remember getting in free sometimes, mm -hmm. um, but we would sneak in. Like, they used to, like, when you paid, you got a stamp. Mm. So one of us, we would all chip in. We one one would pay, get the stamp, and come. We lick <laughs> and give each other the stamp. Yeah, 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 so that's yeah. how that's how we would get in. So you know, they were pretty strict about about everybody paying. Mm. Um, at that time, they didn't really they didn't have liquor in the okay. clubs, you know. So it was just soda. So they didn't make their money on liquor. You know, I'm sure they had stuff on the ground, but um, so yeah, you, you you did have to pay. So the, the footsteps, again, the style changed. Yeah. Um, that, remember Mike Dominguez, who was the best dancer in the footsteps in, in, in those days, he was also, he like set the trend. Like whatever he did, everybody else did. Mm. So one day he came in with um, rubber heels. So they were, they were shoes with heels and they were rubber. Oh. And they were high heels. Um, he used to wear these pants called cheeks. Mm. They were tight. They mm -hmm. were polyester. Tight oh, wow. with bell bottom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So oh, and wow. then and then the shirt was the nick nick or the huckapoos. Again, tight. Everything was tight. Oh. Everything wow. was tight. So <laughs> there was no real hat. Was it with the big, um, like the the big the collar? Shirt? Yeah, you know, the huckapoos hat. Well, you know what? No, the big collars were even before that. Oh okay. You know, um, yeah. When I was when I was more like twelve, they wore the big collars mm -hmm. before I started rocking. Um, so I'm sure at some point, maybe in the sanctuary, you know, but I, you know, I wasn't there, so I really can't speak to the particulars about, about that. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, so it was the, the Nick Nicks, the Huckapoos, the Cheeks, and, and it was, you know, a fly way of dressing. And the other thing with the, with the rubber heels, when you dropped, for some reason, like you're a little closer, your, 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 uh, the back of your foot is, is closer to your butt. So you got down quicker and you could bounce up. Oh. So the shoes helped us with, with dancing. Yeah. Right. And then and then they had a, a soft bottom so you could spin, you know, forever. So that was that was um that lasted for quite a while. I think if I if I remember correctly, that's probably the way we dressed all the way to maybe the time that I, I stopped. I stopped dancing. Yeah, you know, no, you know what? It did switch. It switched to suits again. Oh. But not not um, not old time suits, you know, new suits. Mm -hmm. And again, we used to shoplift. I used to go to Gimbals. I used to go to Macy's. Go to the suit department. 
put on uh, a vest, a jacket, put the pants under my, my sleeve, and, and <laughs> walk out and have a suit for that night. A three hundred dollar suit. Oh wow, nice. With no money in my pocket, but I had a three hundred dollar suit on. Yeah. So so yeah, I mean that was Um another thing, you guys used to have like uh, afros? Used to wear afros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what wore kind an of afro. Haircuts? I had I had a huge afro. My afro went from here. You know, at that time we called them they were froze, but there was also shaggy froze. So oh. there was it wasn't just like from here to here. Some of them came, you know, the the, the hair was long. And then it was so it was a shaggy oh, fro. Man. Yeah, but we all wore froze for a little while, um, and then the froze went out of style, and the DAs came in. Yeah, so yeah. so we we cut the hair and then started blowing out our hair, you know, pushbacks. Mm, you mm, know, so it was nice. loud. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I like. So, I still uh, like those some of those haircuts. It was, uh, oh yeah, I mean yeah, real and cool. it's you know what comes around goes around. Oh, you know, yeah, after yeah. you get tired of this, you use that and. And, and you run out of ideas, so you got to go back in the from you know back in the day to bring it and make it make it new. You know, yeah, so. yeah, definitely. So um, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. um, you when you guys used to battle, how you guys used to battle like in a circle or you ever seen like a, those? Do you ever see Apache lines or I, you know the the. Um, the, uh, the the it was it wasn't really was battles. it like a, more like a party thing or? it wasn't really battles because you know I mean, at, at we, least did you take turns like I go yeah okay go? no there was there was times when you know there was like a, you know first of all you had your dance contest right mm -hmm. and the dance contest was sort of done in a line okay, okay right so that was done that. in a line so you, I, I guess you would call that Apache line I, I, okay. again we didn't use that back in, in, yeah. in those days. Yeah. You just formed a line and everybody danced. And usually at the same time. At the same time. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have a judge sitting on a on a on a ladder, a high nice. ladder nice. on one side and on the other, <laughs> watching. Right? And then you have the you know, maybe the bouncer, mm -hmm. you know, and the judge would point at somebody mm -hmm. and then they would take them out. Oh wow. And point at somebody else, take them out. And we usually danced in routines. So even in the dance contest, you know, sometimes you know you, you you have a partner, you do your thing, he does his, and it looks, you know, you, you dance similar, so it looks somewhat like a routine. But the ones who won had a badass routine mm. that they rehearsed over and over and over again, and always came in with new steps. So so that's how they did it, you know. Then it would end up two, and for the two, right when it was just two, you know, two contestants left. They'll go to the audience, okay. And they'll, you know, who do you like? This one, oh. and they'll clap. So, and that a lot of times, that's the way they did the final, the final judgment. Mm -hmm. So there was a judge who cut everybody, mm -hmm. and then, and then you turn it over to the audience. Um, sometimes the judge just picks it. Oh, wow. know, oftentimes that's what happened. The judge, the judge would pick it. So it was different ways of doing that. So that was the contest. Now, uh, you know, I remember. You know, they'd be playing all kind of different music, like let's just say regular dance music, mm -hmm. um, and then they play rock. Okay. Right? They played rock like probably two times a night. Mm -hmm. One body, once about eleven, and then another time about two. Mm -hmm. All right, eleven was cool. You know, you get your groove going, you get ready, but two o'clock was the shit. You know, two o'clock was nice. what, what everybody waited for. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. you wait for that. You wait for that, no oh, doubt. Oh man. So what happened though was at two o'clock. When you were the best, you didn't have to go on right away. You know, they always saved the best for last. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, so everybody would take their turn to dance in a circle. Mm -hmm. You know, jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out. 